All right, guys, so let's go ahead and talk about the next thing that you are going to be doing, and that is a rental car. So you will need to choose a rental car for your um, for your vacation. You need to get around, obviously, and it's just easier to get a rental car than to try to figure out like Uber and stuff like that. So for our purposes, you're going to get a rental car. So um, getting a rental car is not so much that it's very complicated but it's a little different than when you have to book a flight um, because you have to know a few things um, before getting your rental car um, you have to have your flight information like already you have to have your tickets and stuff um, and then you have to plan on when you're going to pick up your car based on when you arrive and leave the airport and you're always going to pick up your pick up and drop off your car at the airport of your destination um, so just kind of remember that and it should be at least an hour after you arrive to your destination and then an hour before you depart your destination so you know kind of like that um, there are several different rental car websites you can use you can use enterprise budget and avis uh, if there's other ones that you know you're welcome to use as well your um, cost has to include the total cost of the rental car for four days and this is going to be four days because you have to have the day that you leave you know at least the you know the three days that you're going to be on vacation and then the day that you come back okay so that's be for four days and it has to include at least forty dollars so you also have to add an extra forty dollars for gas i just made it easy for you and i just made it for forty dollars um because it's, it's kind of an average for um for most gas stations so we'll just do 40 okay so for an example what i did was i use an avis so for mine I use Avis and the car that I'm getting is an economy car and it's going to be $239. I'm going to pick it up at Orlando. Um, in this case, it was different from the flight information because I had a different day. Um, but for the example here is um, I'm going to pick it up at six o'clock because I think my flight for this example came in at like four. So I pick it up for six. You never know. There might be a delay or something. And then I'm dropping off at Orlando, um, obviously on the day of my flight, which in this case was May 11th, but you get the point. And then at 5.30 p.m., which was about an hour before the flight left, okay? So the cost is $239, okay? And then I added 40, so make sure you have to add 40 because you have to include the cost of gas, and it's um, $279. So that's going to be how much you are going to... Okay, so um, I went ahead and I used Avis. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the Avis website. Since that's the one I use, I will go ahead and just show you how the Avis one works. Um, all the other ones are pretty similar. Um, but again, like I said, you have, you have us to help you, so you're not going to be on your own. We'll help you figure it out and walk you through it, okay? All right, so let's go to the Avis rental car. Remember, you're not actually renting the car, <laughs> okay? We're just gonna get you to the point of um, of when of you know of, of booking in, and then you're gonna just stop right there, okay? <laughs> you're not gonna buy anything. Okay? I don't think your parents would appreciate that. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and continue without discount. Okay, so in Avis, it says here in the middle, it says enter your pickup location or zip code. So I'm going to go ahead and just put up my location. In this case, it's going to be Orlando International. Oops, there it is. So um, please use this feature. Use these drop downs. They are really helpful and it keeps you from having to type in like everything. So use the drop downs. So I'm going to do Orlando International or um, Airport and the code for Orlando International Airport is MCO. Don't ask me why it's MCO. I have no idea why it's MCO. All right. So I'm going to click on that Orlando International Airport. And I believe the trip that I was planning with Hannah is actually, what did I say? It was July 12th. Okay. And I think the flight 
was what time? I think the flight was, I think we got in at like three or four. I'll just put that we're going to pick it up at 5 p.m. Okay. All right. And then I'm returning to the same location. So it says here, return to same location. So I'm not going to change this because I'm going to return it to Orlando International Airport. And I'm going to do that on July 15th. Okay. And I think I have to do it kind of early in the morning. I think we were leaving early. So I'm going to just put it for like 5 a.m. Okay. All right. Um, age. Okay. So you're going to have to like kind of fudge a little bit there because you guys are obviously not old enough to rent a car. <laughs> um, so your age is going to be 25 plus. Okay. Your residency is United States. Don't worry about the, any like member numbers or anything. Don't worry about discount codes, but your vehicle type. Okay. Um, I don't think you need, yeah. Okay. So your vehicle type. So um, basically you can click all vehicles or if you want to select a specific vehicle, remember you are on a budget and you're only going to be driving the car to and from your hotel and your destination. So just so, you know, you, I mean, if you want to, you know, get convertibles, that's up to you, but you're going to like, you know, not be, you're not going to have a whole lot of money left over. Okay. So I'm doing small to full size, okay? And I'm gonna go here, it says select my car. I'm gonna click here, all righty. And it's gonna bring me to another page. Okay, so I'm going to do um, a small to full size. This is the one I picked up right here, picked right here. See, so it's highlighted and scroll down. All right, and you have your premium SUV, full size, standard sport economy. So this is the one I want. I want the economy car, the economy right there. That's the one I want. Ford Fiesta or similar. Okay. All right. All you have to do is choose this, the pay now. Okay. Do, and that's all you have to do. You're going to stop right here. This is where you're going to stop. You're going to go any further than this. Okay. So you got, it's $286.17, okay? You can use the pay now, all right? Don't use the pay later because it's more expensive. Do the pay now price, $286.17, okay? All right, you're going to go back to your, oh, stop it. <sighs> Don't want this discount. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go back to your rental car. You're going to go to your right here, so rental car company. So my rental car company is um, is gonna be Avis, okay, so Avis. It's the rental car company that I chose. My pickup is going to be Orlando, Orlando International Airport. And actually it's gonna be the same location. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right here. So Orlando International Air, oops, Airport, and the date is July, July 12, 2021, and I think my time was what? Right here, time, 5 p.m., 5 p.m., 5 o'clock p.m. and then my drop-off date was the 15th of 7 15 2021 and I think it was 5 a.m. was my drop-off time yeah 5 a.m. there it is okay so 5 a.m. okay so now the rental car cost we went down here, remember we went here, $286.17. Right, so $286.17. And then the total cost, including gas. So remember it's going to be two, going to be two, eight, six, seventeen plus $40 equals, and I'm going to use my calculator. All right, uh, 286.17 plus 40.00 equals $326.17. So $326.17. And that is the cost of my rental.
car. Okay, and I don't have to multiply it by two or anything. It's just getting one rental car. All right, and that's it. That's the rental car. That's easy. That's actually probably a lot easier than you thought it was going to be. All right. So this is screencast of Pi for uh, rental car, and we'll be going to be doing, I believe, the hotel next. So we'll see you in a bit.